Hello, and welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox One. This is the Xbox One Beta, and I'm going to talk about remote control blocks and the cool thing you can do with them. I saw a, uh, a comment and a question on the Space Engineers Facebook uh, Xbox community group, and I thought, well, let's give this a go. And I had a play. So you'll see, flying around my base somewhere, I have my auto drone. This is my little light drone that just flies around remotely using the autopilot based on the excellent autopilot tutorial from Split C for the PC version of the game. And this though, this is Xbox focused and it's not so much on how to make the autopilot work as it is to make this little beastie here. I'm not going to go into the construction of it but I am going to talk remote control and how to set one of these up yourself. So first things first, this is your remote control block. It's very important you look at the icon when you place it down because this little green light here at the front is indeed the front. That has to be facing the direction you want your ship to fly when you push forward on the forward thrusters. Now the best thing to do with these as well is if you have a connector like mine and you do want to use the autopilot you want your remote control block facing the right way there's my camera look at the front and it's underneath all this lot here and it's actually between the two timer blocks on top of this drone because this is a copy of my remote drone my autopilot drone and it's directly over the connector so the autopilot can perform fairly accurate landings there you go look here it comes here it comes, it locks, it transfers fuel, and then off it goes again to light my base at night. Bye. So, let's just do one thing here. Let's get rid of that block. So, this is the drone. And what you need on this drone, apart from the remote control block, I suggest two cameras, one facing to the front, named something like drone camera front and one underneath drone camera below or whatever you want to call it when you've got all of that you also need a connector now this connector doesn't need to be piped into your base unless your drone is going to be running off reactors and drawing fuel out of a base so you can use the conveyor system to get it to suck up all the juicy uranium ingots and ammo for the guns uh, this is just in creative so these are just slapped on there and they won't fire because there's nothing to attack so what you do is if you look in my lovely drone second pressing both bumpers and the inventory button opens the control panel you'll see I've got a connector for the test drone and also you'll see a lot more stuff on this because it's connected to the base so the reason I have a connector for the test drone is so that I can unlock it so now we can look at everything that's on that drone you see the camera facing down camera facing front connected to the test drone and the most important thing is the remote control block now this is set pretty much default, ignore the waypoints and the autopilot, I have that for something else. What you want with these is you want it to use a camera on the front because you're going to need to pilot it because when you've created your drone you're going to need to dock it onto your connector by using your suit's built-in remote telemetry system. How to do that? Press the inventory button, go to remote access and find your drone. There's the test drone. -y. Press A and if you've got a remote block, an antenna on your drone, your suit can connect to it like this. And there you can see I can control my drone with my suit. And the reason I have a down camera on it is so I can look down 
and land on my connector. Once I'm connected on my connector and I've got everything all set up. And you can also put controls on the drone from the D-pad too. So you can use your D-pad shortcut menu like this. Look, hold down the direction you want just like you do normally. And you can select whatever part of the drone you want to control like the cameras so put both cameras on get your connector slap your connector on there as well so that you can remotely while controlling the drone lock it to the base now once it's locked to the base you come out of that come out of your suits control by pressing x twice if you've got a camera and then you build yourself a control station now when you've got a control station all you need to do is jump into this thing like this on your base. Now what you need and all you need is to find your remote control block. Now I've already done that. You can see remote control TD. That's for test drones. So we scroll down our big list of stuff. There probably is a big list of stuff on your base depending on how complex it is. And you want your remote control block. When you've found your remote control block, press A on it and then choose control. Now, when you've chosen control, this is what you can do. You can push up, and now you're in charge of your drone. So we're going to turn off the connector using our command, and we're going to send the drone up. Look. But we can't see where we're going. This is why I told you to put cameras on it. So now we can look at the front. There's my other drone, look. And we can fly it around. And when we want to come into land, we press the down camera. And we start coming down on the connector until we lock. Ready to lock. Press up on the D-pad or whatever direction you have the connector on. Press X to leave the remote control. Camera. And then X again to leave the remote control. And now we're back on the control station. Pressing X again takes us out of the station. And that is your simple remote control drone. Make sure you have an antenna on your base. Make sure you have an antenna and a remote control block on your drone facing the correct way, as I showed you at the start of the video, facing the front of your little drone. And you should have no problems whatsoever as long as you follow those steps into making your own remote control flyabout drone that can do everything that you want like this without any problems so until the next time stay safe have fun take care and happy engineering bye